Hi, it's Chloe Beavers here and Anne Bolt uh, at Curate Space today. And uh, so, so you're from uh, A Story to Tell. And today you have held a Blogs and Beyond workshop. And uh, it was fantastic to participate in your workshop today. Oh, that's good. I'm still in sort of post workshop mode where um, my voice is a little bit tired and uh, wondering how it all went. But uh, it's such a powerful workshop. People really shift in the four hours. It's four hours of intense work. But the shift that I see people take from thinking, oh, I've got mm, too many ideas, that just blows my head up. I don't have any ideas. I can't write. Uh, I don't know where to start. I give them all the tools and somewhere along the line, the group and myself facilitate the confidence. And then before you know it, people sort of trot out of the workshop feeling empowered and educated and get on with writing, not necessarily blogs, small pieces of writing. It might be a Facebook ad or it might be an article for your journal, you know, it might be some sort of more serious academic writing. But they've Or a chapter. Or a chapter of a book. As I say, put enough blogs together, you know, half a year's blogs and you've got your first chapter mm. of your book. Yeah. So I found it really useful in terms of going through that process of, of really unpacking a topic and, mm -hmm. and then having a structure to be able to present it into that short piece of writing. Yeah, one of the blocks for people to not start is not knowing where to start. So we try to sort of acknowledge all of the reasons that we might, you know, the, the, the psychological reasons that we might not start, like disappointing people or... Um, feeling ashamed of revealing yourself or um, not being ready or you know, basically getting out in, in your own way with perfectionism. But also we try, I try and uh, set up the practical ways that might help you start. So we play with the psychological, we also play and tinker with the, um, the physical. Mm. So thank you so much for, for taking us on that journey today. And uh, so, so this isn't the first time you've, you've, you've had events at Curate, Curate Space. You've, you've had uh, writing workshops here in the past. Yeah, I have. Did a really beautiful making a scene workshop, which we're going to run again soon-ish. Great. Um, I love the space. Uh, we chose it because of the beautiful, beautiful light, the central location. And it was, it's really well priced for being in the city and a gorgeous space and you guys are very easy to deal with and um, it has a nice it's not a homely feel I, as a writer I probably should be able to get my get you know get my language around what it is it's not a homely feel but it's a comfortable feel a familiar feel there's something uncorporate about it that makes it a really good place for us to facilitate and hang out oh thank you yeah for, for me it was about bringing the heart back into the city because there are so many sterile spaces in the city and uh, people really want to have, have something more of a human scale. Yeah, 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 that's, that's how it feels. Mm. Mm, oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so you've got another Blogs and Beyond workshop coming up in a couple of weeks as well? Yeah, well we've got one coming up here on the 27th of March. Um, it's a women only Blogs and Beyond. Um, and it's designed to fit in around school hours. Uh, and we've also got one coming up in Wood End at the Wood End Library. It's near, you know, I live in the Masson and Ranges. So there's a couple of spaces left for the Wood End one and a few spaces left for the 27th. Great. Right. So come on down. Yeah, so, so I, I really do recommend it. It's been a great process and, mm. uh, and it, was, it, was, it was wonderful to be able to participate in your workshop here today. So thank you and we'll, we'll see you here soon and, uh, and check out some of the programs that are coming up. Ciao.